Hey, muchachos and muchachas, it's good to be back with you. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about moments. Now, a moment is just another name for torque, something that makes an object want to spin. And it's something we use a lot in engineering and engineering technology. And if you're not used to it, it may be a little confusing at first. So I'm going to tell you what the definition is, and then we'll explore a little bit about uh, where you might see moments in your life. So, first thing you've got to know, a moment is just a force acting at a distance. So here's what it looks like. When we draw this on our homeworks or test papers or something like that, you'll see some center, some pivot, some point about which you're, you're, you care. And then there's a distance here, and I'll call that, well, distance, how about D? And then there's a force acting at that distance, F. Now, a moment only makes sense if you have some point about which to calculate it. So, I don't know, we'll call that point A, because I don't have any imagination today. So about point A, that force acting at that distance makes a moment, and moment is just force times distance. That's all it is. The big idea here is you need to know what the distance is, and it has to be a perpendicular distance. All right? Perpendicular distance is what matters. The way I drew this, that right there is another distance. I'll call that maybe L to separate it from D. But that's not perpendicular. So this force is not acting at distance L. It's acting at distance D. You can see here, I just made a right triangle. So if you knew, if you knew what that, uh, that's 90 degrees, if you knew what either one of those angles were and you knew what L was, you could figure out D. So the force acts at a perpendicular distance. The other thing you need to know is that the force, you can extend the force as far as you want along its line of action to calculate D. So if there's, a, if there's a, some object here, like a beam or something, there's a force acting at that direction. If you need to extend the force up here, oops, that's not very straight, is it? Let's try that again. There we go. Or down here, in order to figure out what that perpendicular distance is, no problem. Physics doesn't mind. So you can do this as much as you want. So where might you see a moment outside the classroom? Well, lots of places. Got a socket wrench right here, a little one, a little quarter inch drive socket wrench. Got my socket here. Well, this is for tightening or loosening bolts. Well, if I want to tighten or loosen a bolt, I don't happen to have one mounted in my board here, so maybe I'll just grab it here. The handle will turn this way, okay, without much friction at all, because it's a ratchet. So it doesn't, right now, counterclockwise, the way I have it set, counterclockwise, it'll just turn. But clockwise, if I want to tighten a bolt, remember lefty, loosey, tighty, righty, okay, if I push right there, I'm having to squeeze here pretty hard, because what's going on is I'm making a moment. I'm making a moment right there. This is the distance. This is the force. It takes a moment to tighten a bolt. Well, that's what this thing does. So where else might a human being find a moment? Hmm, look at that. Every time you open the bo a bottle of, this is nice Japanese iced tea. Oh, I want to tighten it now. Let's see, force, two forces now, acting at a distance. The distance being half the diameter of the cap. Tighten it. I just made a moment. I did something useful with it. Every time you see a car drive around, the drive shaft to the wheels, they make a moment. Get the idea here? So this is the big idea. It's a force acting at a distance. The distance might be really big, like a wrench or something like that. It might be really small, like the diameter or the radius, really, of a cap of a bottle. But the physics is the same, and the idea is the same. So there you go. Moment, just a torque, and you calculate it using a force times a perpendicular distance. That's all it is. So I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.